we set out on a mission to improve the parking situation at offices. After close inspection we were able to identify several pain points. Long waiting time at the gates due to manual check-in and check-out. Excessive personnel requirement at entry, exit gates. Age-old techniques of parking management using tokens and stickers. Unauthorized entry possible. No visibility to employees on parking status. Numbers of parking slots may be less than the number of cars coming in. Unutilized parking spaces inside the building. Keeping these in mind we crafted a solution to facilitate a seamless parking experience. Presenting smart parking solution for offices. Backed up by a dashboard for the admin and an app for the employees. Real-time parking availability. Seamless entry and exit through fit tag. Entry of authorized vehicles only. Digital record of all vehicles going in and out of the building. Complete automation leading to low personnel requirement. Visitor management system for extra layer of security. Removal of age-old manual method of stickers. This is automation and this is the future. We cannot dream of smart offices without smart parking. We also help you to rent out your unutilized parking spaces or reserve parking spaces in close proximity to your office. Hi friends, this is the implementation for a smart parking system. First, uh, let us see the hardware components. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 model. And uh, it has, uh, this is the HDMI port, this is the power port, and this is the LAN port. These are the USB ports uh, for connecting the keyboard, uh, keyboard and mouse. And, uh, this is the DC motor. We are interfacing DC motor with the Raspberry Pi using relay. These are the two IR sensors for uh, gate opening. And uh, this is the LCD module for monitoring the data. And these are the uh, three uh, ultrasonic sensors uh, in correspondence with the uh, red and green LEDs. And uh, to indicate uh, to indicate three different uh, routes. Suppose now I am running the code. So now I am running the code. So, so whenever I have sensor detects, then motor should be on. Suppose initially on three sides green LEDs are glowing. That means you have a place uh, in three routes sorry in three ways to park the uh, vehicles suppose if the distance is less than 10 detected in any route so now in route 1 distance is less than 1 detected by the ultrasonic sensor 1 so that's why so there is no means uh, this indicates uh, route 1 is full so there is no space to park the vehicles. So on LCD you will get the same alert. Route 1 is full. So if the distance is greater than 10, then green LED indicates that there is a space to uh, park the vehicle. So now I am giving the input for route 2. See, and now, so in this case now the distance is less than 10. So that's why the red LED is going. Uh, it indicates there is no place. So that means root 2 is full now. So similarly for third one also. See, red LED is glowing because distance is less than uh, 10. See, now root 3 is full. So now if the IR sensor detects, see now DC motor is running, it indicates uh, is opening the gate. In any side, if the IR sensor detects, then motor will run. Okay. So this is the working. So uh, these data means these uh, three sensors data uh, will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak server. 
so after uploading you will get the data like this for the three sensors distance values these are so this is the thing speak data after uploading so once after running the code this is the shell on shell you will get the uh, so these are the whatever the uh, uh, values uploading to the thing speak so now i am closing the shell means stopping the execution of the code so this is the code so now i am interfacing the raspberry pi with the desktop using hdmi cable and 5 volt supply we are giving so whenever you can successfully interface the raspberry pi with the Mo uh, either laptop or uh, monitor so you can get this window so in this the final code is this one smart park smart park system revision 0 this is the final code you have to open with python sorry so you have to open with python 3 ide only so this is the code so here we are importing the uh, whatever the libraries we required and we are mentioning the api key for things speak here and these are the pin assignments for uh, uh, leds and lcds and ir sensors and buzzer all those so initially these are all uh, outputs uh, so some are inputs and some are outputs here i am uh, initializing the whether the spins are inputs or outputs this is the lcd initialization process okay and this is the main loop means uh, uh, repeated loop i love to so whatever the code you had mentioned in this loop it will uh, repeated repeatedly execute so initially it shows the title of the project parking system so whenever uh, uh, here we are reading the three ultrasonic sensor values first ultrasonic sensor value is uh, stored in this distance variable and if the distance is less than 10 then you will get root 1 is full alert on the LCD and uh, LEDs will uh, glow correspondingly similarly ultrasonic sensor two values i am reading in a variable distance one and uh, similarly if the distance is less than 10 then leds will go correspondingly similarly for the third ultrasonic sensor also if ir sensor detects then motor is dc motor is on and finally we are uploading these uh, distance values to the thing speak using this loop so this is the code explanation. Thank you.